we will have to defeat this wave of lost first. Okay, let's go. Hello, I'm Brian and welcome to another episode of XCOM 2 Star Wars. Uh, so in the last uh, episode, uh, it's actually the first episode, uh, we have go on to uh, Gatecrasher, uh, the first mission, and then the second mission uh, we went through quite well. Uh, so let's take a look at our roster right now. Okay, so we have our... It is very, 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 <laughs> very good that we actually have all our stuff available. Usually at this point uh, in the game, I don't know if it is because of my uh, lower uh, level of difficulties uh, for the game Maybe settings. once this is all over, we should take this ship and go colonize one of their planets. <laughs> Maybe, yes, okay. Yeah, uh, we have all our troops available. Uh, that is very important uh, in the third uh, operation that is coming up. Uh, I believe that we will have to have. Uh... Alright, let's see. Uh, I, I will bring my uh, field support, I think, and then there will be a couple of others as well. Mm, I don't have anyone that is uh, good at like a sapper or a. Um... Uh, what's it called? I don't... Ah, yeah, a combat engineer. They they use explosives uh, very well, uh, but I don't have them, so that might be a problem. But uh, yeah, we shall see. Let's spin the wheel and see what is going on. Commander, we have a lead on the alien black site, but we'll have to rely on the local resistance to actually get us into the facility. We should try to make contact with their forces in the region as soon as possible. It's the only way we're going to find out what's behind this so-called Avatar project. So we have to um, uh, do the research for resistance communications before we can actually unlock more areas. Alright, let's see. Uh, what are we on? Alright, supplies first. I don't think we can complete this scan before we uh, head on to the first, uh, the, the third uh, mission. <clears throat> Much of my own research based upon this simple design. If only I had known. Ah, Commander, excellent timing. There's been some progress. I've managed to break down several key components of the chip implanted into your skull. My analysis reveals that its primary function was that of a conduit, passing a vast amount of data directly to your cerebral cortex. With the primary connection severed, much of that data is lost. Several fragments do remain, however. Uh, ghosts, if you will. Observe. Tactical combat simulations. War games. The sheer volume of encounters you were processing was astounding. It... It is truly remarkable that you survived as long as you did. Though this may seem disconcerting, there is still some good news. This chip bears a striking resemblance to a medical <coughs> implant I briefly assisted in developing at the Gene Therapy Clinic in New Providence. My understanding was that the implants were intended for high-ranking Advent officers only, captains <coughs> or above. Retrieving a chip from such an officer would be the only way to know for certain. A greater understanding of these implants would undoubtedly benefit us all, Commander. New objective added. Okay, because we finished the uh, biotech uh, research, we get the um, new objective where we will examine an uh, Advent Officer Corps. The Advent Officers have clearly been modified to allow for their subordinates to receive new orders psionically. The implanted chip is the key. Okay. Well, in that case, uh, Officer First, I believe it actually unlocks the... 
I want to say foundry is not called the foundry. Yes, proving ground. <laughs> yes, it allows proving ground. Yes, yes. So yeah. The advent officers appear to be similar, if not physically the same as the common advent trooper in terms of power and agility. However, field reports <laughs> indicate a more developed mental acuity, as the officers do provide tactical directives to the subordinate advent forces. Tygen is uh, having too much fun with that corpse. <laughs> From my own experience, Advent generally deploys heavy security rather than subterfuge when it comes to protecting their yeah, primary facilities. Yeah, we've heard this. Yeah, thank you. At least the ones I have. Okay, let's go. Oh, we actually finished the uh, scanning. Perfect. Perfect. All right. So we don't need uh, more uh, rookies. We Avenger will use the scientists first. We really wanted to take advantage of the uh, scientists as early as possible. We still have a bunch of rookies. You are too trusting, John. The skirmishers are Advent. Advent is the enemy. The enemy is food. Try not to bring that up when we meet, Hulk. You. Their side? After all we've seen these years. Look, I'm not exactly having drinks with them, but they did hold up their end of the bargain. What about you? Wait and see. Vault out. Looks like they might show up. Commander, that was Konstantin Volokov, Volk to his friends. He and his Reapers are a big part of the reason why you're standing here today. Volk may be a little rough around the edges, but he's the real deal. Heads one of three resistance groups operating independently from us that we consider a legitimate threat to Advent. Together, they'd make one hell of a fighting force. Too bad they hate each other. Still, we've made some unlikely progress. Volk's Reapers may have found you, but they weren't acting alone. They were tipped off by a group of Advent defectors known as the Skirmishers. No one's big on working with these guys, knowing where they came from. But you wouldn't be here without their help. Both the Reapers and the Skirmishers have agreed to suspend hostilities provided you serve as the go-between. Trust doesn't come easy between these two, so we're heading for a nice quiet spot on neutral ground. Even so, let's not take any chances. Intel on this area is weak, and we're picking up strange chatter on comms. Not to mention we're ending a decade-long blood feud today. I'd advise our soldiers to be fully prepared before we deploy on this one, Commander. Good luck. Okay. <laughs> Since we're all friends now, maybe you could lend my people a hand in dealing with a problem of ours. Okay, let's go. Not sure how long our contacts are going to wait for us, Commander. So I'd recommend we proceed as soon as possible. All available soldiers are standing by to deploy. Yep, yep. Setting course for the Arctic territories. Each faction has agreed to allow a two-person squad to escort them to the rendezvous point. Hopefully that should be enough to keep them from killing each other. We've got a temporary ceasefire in place for the duration of the meet, but still, that doesn't mean we shouldn't be ready for anything. Okay, let's make a decision on this. So, I understand this operation, uh, they break into two squads. Uh, there is a two part and then there is the third part where both squads rendezvous and then, uh, and then face off with the assassin. Uh, the, the first uh, chosen uh, to encounter every time, uh, if you actually uh, enable the loss and uh, ab abandoned uh, integration. If you don't, uh, you, you will get uh, whoever is the enemy of uh, the, the hero faction that you choose. There is the uh, Reaper, uh, which uh, the assassins is actually uh, their counterpart, so to speak. And then there is the skirmisher with the hunter, uh, basically a sniper. Uh, as the chosen of choice, and then there is also um, uh, the psionic one. I don't remember the name, what they're called. Uh, <laughs> yeah, but then they also have the warlock, which is uh, a 
a psionic enemy, they, uh, uh, he has mind control and things like that. Alright, so let's set up the team. Okay. Yeah. Let's go. at each other's throats for years, so we're keeping the exact meeting points strictly need to know. You'll split into two squads, rendezvous with each faction, and bring their envoy directly to the location of the meet. Officially, this city no longer exists, so we don't expect a lot in the way of advent resistance. Still, keep your eyes peeled. It's been about 20 years since we last stepped foot in this place. Competent Central, we are going on Operation Lost and Abandoned. We are going to escort the Reaper to the meeting point. I think we will then escort uh, another the Skirmisher to the meeting point as well. Uh, we are going into the ruins of Beijing. Again, we are going to head into the territory of China and then to do this mission. Let's go. of yours. Your presence already disturbs them. We must move quickly. My people will take care of this camp. Come. Uploading the coordinates to the rendezvous point now. We've plotted the most direct route there. We don't know much about the skirmisher contact you'll be meeting other than his name. Mox. Mox? Praetal Mox? His death squads wiped out entire camps of my people in the first years of the war. You would dare do this? Pretty sure hands are bloody on both sides of this fight. That's the whole point of this intervention. Reapers are born in the shadows. In the cold, harsh world that was waiting for us out there. We rely on stealth and long-range attacks. And our marksmen are unmatched by even the best XCOM has to offer. Okay, let's move Elena My up. Life is in your hands. Huh, no trigger. Baseball, move fast! No problem, boss. Damaged and dormant all these years. These devices still emit trace elements of unstable radiation. I cannot fathom what they were like in their original function. We were there, Doctor. You're better off having missed it. Yeah, you're better off having missed it. <laughs> Let's go on Overwatch. Covering fire, Stanley. go! We should be seeing the... I will go. The loss very shortly. Ho 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 ho! Ah, hello, hello, hello. Alright. Bastard hard! Whatever Let's you move say! Forward and keep overwatch. Watching comes naturally. Come on! Aww. 
No more time for regrets. We are not alone. Those things, they still look like people. What was human died years ago. Only the taint of the alien survives now. Where there is one, more will follow. You must not hesitate to destroy them. When an XCOM unit kills a lost unit with a standard attack, that unit receives an additional action point. By carefully selecting targets, a soldier can kill several lost and still move normally. If the shot taken misses or fails to kill the lost target, the soldier will not receive an additional uh, action. Special attacks such as grenades do not grant actions when killing the lost. Okay. These creatures' true strength lies in their numbers. As you can see, they fall easily. If we are careful with our shots, we will prevail. <laughs> You say that as if we have some kind of control over that. <laughs> These creatures' DNA has mutated well beyond what we would classify as human. Perhaps the result of long-term exposure to the alien radiation from those pods. I don't know why anyone would subject themselves to that. I cannot imagine. When the governments fell, millions starved. Many fled to cities such as this to scavenge for food. They did not heed the warnings. Yep, uh, so basically uh, these are the laws, just zombies actually. Um, however, they are a little bit different from the base game. Uh, the zombies in the base game just uh, use melee attacks, but in the later, um, uh, at the later stage you'll see that these zombies actually have guns that can shoot at us. <laughs> <laughs> that is uh, both exciting and hor horrifying <laughs> at the same time. And also you can see that if we keep shooting them and then just one-shotting them, we will be able to uh, just keep fighting them. Uh, basically, the um, how many you can kill is just limited by uh, how accurate is the shot. And then there is also the, the point of uh, how many uh, ammo you have in your chamber. Okay. Uh take My turn on the watch. Anything else? Oh yeah, there there is two of them still. Okay. <laughs> Don't put too much uh faith in that number. The My the hit chance encountered these beings before. At first they may appear mindless, but they hear quite well. In great numbers, they can be very deadly. Uh, yeah, as I'm saying, uh, the, the numbers that are um, displayed on the tooltip is somewhat inaccurate. <laughs> yeah, I, I know that there are a lot of problems with that. Not too shabby. Burning through ammo fast. It's killing time. Okay, we got through the first couple of uh, first couple of them. Um, usually, I would really prefer taking uh, fewer turns, like we drilled, go! so that we can uh, reserve I'm our going. our wheel consumption. However, uh, in this particular All mission, I would much prefer to have a safer approach and. Uh, Instead of charging An entire up entire city of our own people left to turn into these things. Yes. All we can offer them now is a merciful death. Yep, uh is that we we really wanted to uh survive all the fights with our scratch uh per se and not using any of our uh, consumables to get through the fight as well because Seems afterwards terrible. we are going to fight the chosen uh, forward I'm on the move I believe there will be a group yep two groups actually yeah and also you can see from here um, I'm at your service there are different kinds of lost uh, some of them actually explodes as well, which is <laughs> which is always fun. I've got to reload. <laughs> These creatures are worse even than Advent. They have no cause, no fear. They simply exist. 
If we do not defeat the aliens soon, we will become little more than they are. Yep, yeah, so uh, because Elena is the Reaper and in this new take of uh, wait, no, not not this one, yeah. <laughs> um, in the new take of uh, the Reaper, uh, they actually can, uh, uh, you can see here, Silent Killer, when concealed, kills uh, with your primary weapon and pistols uh, do not break consumer if you have enough active shadow stacks. So if I remember correctly, uh, if we have like, say, uh, two shadow stacks, uh, they will be consumed and then if you actually killed it, uh, kill your target, you won't be revealed in any way. So let's give it a try. That was a very loud shot. Right? <laughs> loud shot. <laughs> what? Are we? Uh, yeah. I, I think the shot uh, simply activates it, but without uh, breaking the the um. Whoa. Okay. Guns off. Buy me time. Setting up a shot. I have a watch. Loading fresh ammo. I will wait and cover. Yep, that's the Death Incinerator! Um, they are previously the flamethrower troops. Uh, yep, uh, in, in these kind of... Uh, all of this for pray tell mocks? If he is not what you say he is, I shall kill him myself. Looking forward to this meeting already. Okay, yeah. Sounds fun. Um, Confirmed! Yeah, so you can see in the previous uh, activation uh, video, they they actually show the uh, original appearances. That's the the loss that you would have been fighting <laughs> uh, in the base game. However, these are the uh, death troopers. I, I believe it's the death troopers. Uh, yeah, as I'm saying, um, I have a list of mods. Signatures are grouping into a singular mass. Yes, One yes. Closing in on this position. Yes, a yes. Swarm. We must push forward before it arrives. Yes, yes. <laughs> yeah, so it's not too far. I have included a list of mods uh, for this uh, playthrough, and um, you can check it out in the description for this video. Uh, there will be a link in for the Steam Workshop. I believe I also. For years, my people hunted his kind. For years, we survived. Now you risk everything for your dreams of peace. If you haven't noticed, the aliens have been kicking our planet's ass for the past twenty years. You think maybe it's time we try something else? If only your speeches could take down these cursed creatures. I go where you tell me. Extraction point is close, but looks like these things don't want to make it easy for you. We will make it to your pet advent in time. I can handle that. Buy me a few seconds. I'm on it. Uh. Though their intelligence appears almost non-existent, these creatures seem to employ some sort of rudimentary communication system. Perhaps auditory signals, or some form of hive-like consciousness. Your point, Doctor? The entire swarm knows there is food here now. I would advise we make haste to leave this area. Yep. Um, as I'm saying, uh, I will be... I have included a, uh, a link to the Steam Workshop. Uh, there will be a collection of my uh, mod of choices for this playthrough. Uh, you, you have to uh, download them all, uh, and then you also need the alternative uh, mod launcher for XCOM 2 as well. Uh, I believe I have a GitHub uh, download link for it. Uh, so yeah, uh, you need the alternative mod launcher to uh, for the advent to Galactic Empire mods to work. Hold positions here! No one will cross. Oh, wait, no more of The preliminary readings from these creatures seem familiar. I will need to consult my records. 
but I may have encountered something similar to them during my time with Advent. I wouldn't be the least bit surprised if Advent had a hand in their creation, Doctor. Get ready for our attack! I see everything. Interesting. They're not moving forward. Oh, now they are. Yeah, they had the shot. Ah, <laughs> it's a mess. Would be disappointed. We are known to them. Uh, too bad. Oh, incoming! Nice hit. You know that was good. Yeah, I know that was good. Yes, you're right. Very. Okay, let's see. Who else? Ah, oh, come on! Ninety-five percent. What the hell? Don't do this. Come on, ninety-two. Very good. Eighty percent. Let's go. Biological readings in your general area are clear. No more creatures on approach. For now. Then let's not linger here. Head to the evac coordinates now. I go where I'm needed. Reloading. A momentary victory. Others are surely on the way. We must keep moving. No argument here. Continue to the rendezvous point. Whatever you say. You should have okay. a clear path through now. Second squad is already en route to Mox. Proceed to the rendezvous and await their arrival. Oh, we'll be there. Okay, good. <laughs> That's the easy part. That's the easy part. Looks like trouble ahead. The rendezvous could be compromised. Stay focused. Rendezvous with Outrider is further ahead. Proceed through this district as quickly as possible, but be careful. Something tells me this city still has a few more surprises to throw our way. Surprises are the least of our worries today. It is these Reapers of yours that are of true concern. We, the Skirmishers, were created by the false gods of this world to serve and die as their puppets. We retain all that we were and more, and our prowess in battle serves us well in our cause. In close combat, none can stand opposed to us. Okay, so this is the skirmisher. Um, so they have the grapple, uh, integrated grapple, and also a uh, melee attack that is the ripjack attack as well. Um, so pretty good. Um, all right, let's move up. 
Okay. We'll proceed with caution. Uh, Affirmative, moving out. You never know what we are going to find. Get ready for it. Cool out. Yep. Enemy is up ahead. New coordinates. We will be creeping forward little by little. Moving um, to designated position. I would to love to position. have uh, the Overwatch catch the oh, catch them first instead of us walking into it, spending an extra Moving point. Position. All that. So, uh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Heading there now. No, no contact not. yet. Maybe the. Staying behind this, that would be awkward. But yeah, proceed with caution. Yeah, they are exactly behind uh, the truck. I think. Oh no! That is not good. <laughs> yeah, it's a long shot for a. Uh... Woo! Okay, yeah, that's a long shot for the shotgun. But let's see if I can actually get them. <laughs> you weren't kidding when you said those tanks could explode. Careful with these things. We don't need to take any unnecessary chances. Okay. <laughs> don't remember seeing these things before. You were not meant to. Purifiers were created with a singular purpose to contain the drop tip, the lost. We must eliminate this patrol quickly before others arrive. Fine by me. Take them down. Okay, grapple. So you can see here, a grapple doesn't spend any action points and uh, also allows for great uh, mobility as well. Very, very powerful tools to be had. The patrol has been liberated. May their lives not be lost in vain. Uh... We must push forward and complete our mission. Works for me. Move out. We would do well to avoid the uh, the cars. Yep, <laughs> it explodes. Do not take cars for um for cover, unless of course they have already exploded. They usually won't explode for a second time unless there is a bug. <laughs> it happens. It happens. But yeah, let's stay a little bit off. From those fires, uh, yes, your unit actually can catch fire as well. Once your unit is on flame, uh, they won't be able to perform a lot of the actions. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, let's move forward. Moving out. I go as ordered. Brian, how do you know where the other enemies are? <laughs> Don't worry about it, I just do. Alright, let's see. Um, yeah, let's close up inside. As you order. No trespassers. Okay, let's trigger the the cutscene then. This is no patrol. It's an army. Yes, one we do not have time to face. Everyone, get back! Fires may be down, but unfortunately, that was our extraction point. I fear that is not the worst of it. Multiple biological signatures rapidly on approach to your position. The lost. The sounds of combat excite them. They are drawn to it. And you just blew up a fuel truck? <laughs> there was no other choice. Find an alternate exit. We will deal with the lost. Try 
Draklar. Jashers. They are not as docile as the rest of their kind. Advanced description. It would seem the mutation has somehow accelerated these dashers' metabolism, allowing enhanced speed and agility with a corresponding increase in aggression. Target neutralized. Hostile neutralized. Burning through ammo fast. Taken care of. Okay, let's uh, try to stay in cover. Full cover, preferably. Uh. Ooh, okay. There is more target than we can uh, take care of, but okay. Oh, wrong target. Okay, we're lucky. Uh, yeah, it would have been disastrous if it was a low roll. Uh, because you can see here uh, the uh, this uh, sniper rifle it actually does three to five damage. If it rolls a three damage that loss would have survived that hit and then I would be stuck on this half cover uh, that would be not so good all right let's back down you can reload later incoming cover the flag whoa 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 the shockwave of that explosion reverberated throughout most of the city. I would expect a significant reaction from the loss. The only reaction I will accept from them is their deaths. Find us that exit. Orders confirmed. Yep, Moving I out. believe Eight there are the some top. behind us as well, so let's get Moving ready for it. Confirmed. That whole area is hotter than we thought. Gonna need a little more time. Understood. Holding position. I move. Uh, no visual, huh? Access on Overwatch. I stand ready. Oh. Target destroyed. Oh, more of them, huh? Okay. Oh. I think we've got something here. Just need another minute. You have your minute. Target down. Okay, let's run. <laughs> uh, not A good, not good. Run. Let's move, let's move. are all over the place. The lost are almost right on top of you. These lost seem to be pretty sensitive to noise. The sounds of combat are likely to draw even more of them. We found a new route that should get you to the rendezvous point safely. The lost are still converging on the area, so make it fast. That okay. will not be a problem. Guns ready. We're going uh, to let's go. reload. Uh, let's reload. And overwatch. Yeah, we will have to defeat this wave of lost first. Okay, let's go. Okay, let's see if there are uh, some high HP ones there. Uh, aside from this danger, it doesn't seem to be the case. Let's move forward. 
because the shotgun actually have a high base damage, you can see here, 4 to 6, uh, so it is particularly good in dealing with some of the higher HP laws as well. So, yeah, they seem a little weak, of course. Uh, however, uh, they, they have the numbers. And particularly when they have guns, it could become very dangerous. <laughs> Good okay. Okay, continue to move, don't stay on at the same place. Let's move fast. Already there. I must run. This feels good. Um, uh, there are times when we could actually run into problems. Uh, sometimes the lost uh, may spawn in places where they are directly behind you, or maybe you can't get to the uh, get to cover quickly, and then you you also sometimes miss some of the key shots, uh, and then you just can't chain enough kill shots to uh, eliminate the whole wave at yes, once uh, so this time we did very well outrider and the first team should be waiting for you ahead i know this wasn't the easiest stop but i have to believe it'll still be worth it in the end that depends on the reapers rendezvous point directly ahead let's try and play nice today people so, Advent's most brutal captain comes to atone for his crimes. I am no longer that being. I am free now. Taking off that helmet does not change what you are. Reapers have long memories. Elder Kraxad. Any time. The way I see it, we have two options. Join forces and kick the elders off our world, or kill each other here and now. The choice is yours. No one has ever done <laughs> that before. No one shall ever do that again. Fox Prima, Elder Assassin, relentless death that stalks my kind, Butcher of Free Advent. My people face another like her. They are the undying, Advent's curse upon us. We must combine strength if we are to have any chance of success. You are welcome to try. Yes, that's the assassin! Oh my god. The Reapers face a being such as this. They appeared without warning years ago. Had they not, we would have already regained our home. <laughs> such arrogance. The Elder's will extends throughout the universe. I am but one of their instruments. Okay, so uh, I'll be ending the video here. I'm sorry about that. Uh, yeah, the episode would have run very long if uh, if I don't. Uh, so I'll be ending it here. In the next video, we are going to defeat the Chosen. As the objectives uh, imply, we must not allow Max or uh, uh, Dragonova, uh, so Elena, to die. Uh, we'll try as best uh, we can. Uh, usually, it will be easier if we actually have like a scanner because the assassin uh, have ways to go into um, consumment uh, we, we will have a hard time you know playing a hide and seek game with her uh, however it is what it is but uh, we will have some uh, ways to defeat her as well so yeah uh, so it has been fun so far and uh, it 
it will be even more exciting. <laughs> uh, yeah, for, for, for the next video as well. So I hope that you have enjoyed this video. Uh, thank you for watching. I'm Brian, and I'll be seeing you in the next video. Goodbye.